hello guys welcome back to the next video in this video we are going to solve question number four from the ISC specimen question paper 2023 if you have missed out the previous videos do check out the entire playlist from the description box below and if you don't want to miss out any future videos then you have to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon this question number four is a sum on DRR we are required to create the debenture redemption reserve account for the years 21 22 and 22 23 okay we have the balances given as on 31st March 21 in the books of Pragya Limited. It has got 7% debentures which are redeemable on 30th September 22 of 60 lakhs and the DRR already existing is for 2 lakhs. The company made the provisions and required amount of DRR was transferred on 31st March 22. Let's prepare the DRR account with the information that we have been given here. So on 2021, let's pass the first entry, which is the opening balance, right? How much do we already have in the DRR account? That's by balance BD. Remember, DRR is a liability, so it will come on the credit side as by balance BD. Okay. Now, if you want to minimize the confusion let's always try to do some kind of back calculation as well okay now if you see here let's plot the other amounts which are given to us to make things easy all right so if you see here on september 22 you are redeeming the debentures okay so on that day you are required to have how much in your drr accounts okay before that day as per the rules 10% of 60 lakhs that means 6 lakhs rupees should be there in your DRR just by the end of the previous financial year so if you are redeeming on 30th September 22 that means by 30th March 31st March 22 you should be having 6 lakhs in your account okay so if you see this then my 31st March comes here right so my balance CD should be 6 lakhs okay which is nothing but 10% of 60 lakhs which is the debenture which I'm going to redeem okay so if you understand this then it will be easy for you to understand that now you would need to have 6 lakhs as a balance to carry forward in the next financial year before redemption so you need to create another 4 lakh worth of DRR okay that you will create again on the last day of the financial year so that comes to 22 31st March that becomes by statement of profit and loss that will be 4 lakh rupees all right so that becomes your first year we have created now let's move on to the next year 2022 which we already have here so that becomes April 1 for us that will be again by balance BD that will be 6 lakhs okay and on the last day when the debentures are getting redeemed which is 2022 September 30 you are redeeming it so DRR is transferred to general reserve right so it becomes by general reserve account the entire 6 lakhs will be transferred to general reserve okay this is how it should be and this is the ledger account for DRR.
for the two financial years as mentioned in the question. If you have any questions, do let me know in the comments box below. I'll help you out. Let's move on to the OR question that we have. On this, we are required to create the DRI account. Okay. So, this is in the books of Barua Limited. We have debenture redemption dates given. The company already has 9,000 debentures, which it will be re redeeming over these three years. These are 10% debentures or rupees 100 each and the amounts of debentures that will be redeemed are also mentioned. We are required to prepare the DRI for two financial years. However, for ease of understanding, we will prepare it for three financial years. That will make things easy for us to understand. All right. So let's do it one by one. And let's get started with the opening balance that we have. How much do we need, need to make it? As per the rules, if the company is redeeming something on 31st March 2020, that means at the beginning of that financial year, that means 2019, April 30, the company has to invest money. Now, remember, this is a listed NBFC and the previous one was unlisted manufacturing company. I have made a full video here for you to understand where DRR is required and where DRI is not required. If you haven't checked that out, do check it out from the channel. So in this case, a listed NBFC, DRI is required. So we have to, we can easily go ahead and make that account. So on April 30, the company will be investing 15% of the debentures which are due for redemption at the end of that financial year. So 3,000 into 1 lakh, 3,200 is 3 lakhs and 15% of that is 45,000. So on 30th April, the company will make an investment to bank account which will be 15% of 3 lakhs right 45,000 this is the amount that is invested on April 30 now as per the rules again when we are redeeming the debentures that time we are required to sell off the investment however if we have further redemptions to make in that case we retain the investment and carry it forward for the next financial year. However, we have to adjust the amount based on how much debenture we are going to redeem in the next financial year. All right, so if I come to 2020, March 31, right? Here I have to take a decision whether I will retain this debenture or I need to sell it off based on the decision of next financial year so if you see here in the next financial year we are going to redeem 5000 debentures 5000 into 100 is 5 lakhs so for 5 lakhs if i make a percentage of 15 percent then i need 75000 worth of investments out of that i already have 45000 worth of investment i will not sell it off on 31st march rather i will carry it forward to the next financial year so 2020 March 31 by balance CD get it down that will be entire 45,000 I'm carrying it forward okay so now let's come down to the next financial year which is again 2020 April 1 right at the beginning of the financial year we carry down bring down the balance so by balance BD which is 45,000 okay now on April 30 if no dates are given we can take April 30 we make further investments to bank account and this time this will be 15% of 
5 lakhs which is 75,000 out of that we already have 45,000 so we will subtra subtract that so that gives me another 30,000 worth of investments that I need to make so that's what I am making it here 30,000 investments are made okay now moving on to the last day of that financial year 2021 March 31 right I need to make a decision here again how much investments do I need to sell or based on how much debentures we are going to redeem next financial year and how much investment do we need for that so if you see I'm going to redeem 1000 debentures next financial year and the value of that is 1 lakh 15 percent of 1 lakh is 15,000 so I need to just hold on to 15,000 worth of investments and rest of the investments I can sell it off so let's write buy balance CD first and I need 15,000 worth of investments to be retained so I can straight away write here 15 percent of 1 lakh right this is what I need to have a balance of and the remaining I can easily sell it off so that goes away by bank account that will be 60,000 worth of investments I'm selling it off understanding so this is important having a view of the next financial year based on that we take a decision in March how much investments we are going to sell it off alright so we carry this balance down 2021 that will be to balance BD 15,000 okay I don't need to make any further investments in April this will be April 1 okay so this investment is done and end of the financial year when I am selling it off I just have to sell off this investment which I have so that's by bank account 15,000 when I'm redeeming the debentures along with that I before that I sell off my investments this was the debenture redemption investment account understanding the flow of it and having your concepts clear this really helps you to do things easily in the exam in less time because this is just a three mark sum thanks for watching hope this was helpful if it really helped hit the like button and do share with your friends we'll catch you all in the next videos that we have thanks